this much in this war. Bankruptcy looming for Songhai. Still no one able to cross into Britain. Any more player wars? No. So yeah, let's just have a look how, I mean, we've got 40 minutes left. Uh, score comparison. We're looking at Prussia is in the lead. Then it's Songhai. Then it's Great Britain. Great Britain is doing quite well on the accumulated score. Haven't got the victory card yet, so. Not doing too bad on that. Who's winning with the economy? Prussia. And then the Netherlands. Damn, Prussia's economy is strong. 42 on trade. All in a lot Lubeckian trade node. Is there any let me see. The the Dutch is steering it's Oh them pesky Dutch steering right for Prussian trade into the English channel. So how is Great Britain doing with its economy? Not too hot. Not at all. <laughs> so if you give me one last satisfaction and attack into the straight, across the straight into the hills, please. <laughs> uh, this is where like Savoy and Prussia just go across and smash him. Dutch look like they're really going to go for that. Oh, okay. He switched to French culture. That is a shame. He's not going to be forming Spain. Well, you think French France is better than Spain? Fair enough, but French ideas, nothing now compared to Spain in a uh, MP. Three speed possible? I think three speed should be possible. This war is very much a stalemate. If he is forming France, I wonder what is going to go down with the Netherlands, because I'm pretty sure Chartois and Orleans, you need to form France. So, who the fuck is Jack? Oh wait, is that Oirat? Are we missing Oirat? Yes, we are. <laughs> if only Hadron didn't have two shock, two six shock generals, I could maybe win. <laughs> Probably not. You've been in this war for so fucking long. How you haven't been able to enforce peace because you've had the capital occupied, I do not know. How Tunis has just peaced out from war exhaustion, I do not know. So yeah, let's avoid going French. Fair enough. That is needed to form. Hmm. 
he's going to need to go down into Southern Spain. He already owns two of the provinces and he didn't earn the rest of it here. Yeah, that's... All provinces in the Iberian group are not under Muslim control. Yeah, that should be pretty easy to do, to be honest. So, where is Songhai? <laughs> Songhai is gone. So, we've seen the death of two great empires in, really. Byzantium, he's still got still probably pull it back if he does the right diplomacy and then we've got Songhai. Netherlands has sent them a peace deal. Songhai will cede three provinces to Savoy and one to Savoy's vassal. Ours is beginning to get their name on the map quite nicely. Timurids. Truce is about to be up with Mughals. They can go for that. Uh, same with Nagpur. They should really go for that. Uh, Timurids and Nagpur should really team up against Nepal. You know, you don't want to let Nepal get too powerful too quickly. Play a war. <laughs> against the Golden Horde. What is this? Golden Horde Conquest of LDF. Oh dear. Poor LDF. A stupid choice of a nation to pick. <laughs> but He's lasted longer than other people in stronger nations. You know, he's lasted longer than a Provence, Venice, Papal State. Who else has been in really strong nations and they died pretty easily? It's like Bavaria was a decent start. You know, he was a one province minor at the start. He should have died. He survived. 145 years. I mean, he still may not be dead, but... I don't see anyone coming to his rescue. His protectors... Are licking their wounds. still going on have they finished they have finished all of their reforms but no institutions that tech penalty have they taken any ideas then do you want for the ideas now they've just stuck to economic they're not really saving up much for the tech keeping up with military tech but that's about it Why have Timurids come over here to help out? Timurids, you should be getting ready for a war with the Mughals. April. You want to be storming in here in April? Have you got any troops over here ready? No. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. So, Songhai near bankruptcy you're getting there bankruptcy will be happening in about 20 months ish 24 months uh, 
anyone crossing the channel just yet. No. British are allowed to sail freely though. So the Dutch should just go yoink. And start a fight. But it doesn't look like they're going for that. They're also a defender of the faith because basically no one else is ref uh, Yeah, no other players are reformed. So, you know, smart to go for reformed. Extra 15% morale to your navy and army. Because of the defender of the faith and the war, war feverism. Oh, we have peace. And. Savoy is really, 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 really done well for himself this session. Started out, you know, with that and that, and he grabbed, you know, a little bit of Catalonia, a little bit of France here and there, and he's just expanded. Now, if he can consolidate this and this, he could yet do something, this MP. I mean, I, I, I don't mean he'd be rude when I say that, but he hasn't done too well in the past 100 and 146 years. But he can really become a force. If he forms the right nation and consolidates this land, yeah, he can do something quite well. Give himself Wallachia. He's going in against Lithuania. See, I wonder if Serbia and Wallachia are going to abandon Byzantium and eat it up on the corpse. Or if they're going to try and prop them up and go to war with Persia. Serbia has gone to war with the Mamluks. Good. Consolidate this. Not do another war with. Could do another war with, Serbia, with Venice. I mean. Coalition shouldn't really phase them. So yeah, they should probably do that as well. They should, you know, do two, two wars simultaneously. They are, bringing, they are helping out Byzantium, bringing Byzantium in this. So looks like they are going to be propping up Byzantium. Are we going to see a piece to the? Uh, Song High in Granada War before the end of the session, though, which is in 27 minutes. 1574. The Song High in Reconquest of Tangiers. Sixteen year long war. Peace from Granada. Granada is sieging, sieging one, one land, one piece of clay to Congo and the rest to Granada. Oh, two pieces of clay to Congo and the rest to Granada. <laughs> oh. Is Songhai going to accept that? Because Songhai has fallen apart to rebels. Holy shit. I have not seen a Western Africa with that many rebels in it since... When I was Austria, like nearly two years ago, in a multiplayer, where uh, there was a player, Hungary, had uh, espionage ideas and was, kept going to war with France, and he just tore. All of this was French at the start of the war, none of this was French at the end of the war. Espionage ideas, kept supporting rebels, and yeah, it fell apart. Odiev is dead. Golden Horde lives and has Golden Horde reformed. Golden Horde has reformed. To go plutocracy. Interesting choice. So they should now be a bit more stable. They're, I mean, they've still got the great Hordian ideas. Now their manpower recovery rate. Uh, 
35 percent so it's not as not the 80 percent that it used to be but still nothing to be sniffed at and if they got quantity yeah they can really rack that up Colonies. Oh yeah, Defender of the Faith. That's why they're in a player war. So yeah, not much is going on. Yeah, sort of repairing a little bit of damage, but. No fight for the channel, no landing on British clay. So Prussia is going to want Norway from them. Uh, Netherlands is going to want this from them. Iberia is uh, Savoy's going to want this. <laughs> Hanover still survives. Where is your capital? Oh, you do still definitely survive up here, huh? Let's go have a take a look over in the Asian area. So, Oda and Nepal go into war with the court of the Mughals. Langjiang, drawing down his homeland. He started doing very well, he's slowed down a bit. He should definitely keep up the pressure, you know, he should definitely eat into this. Uh,. Maybe even go to war with Ming. Ming's got the mandate. Yeah, they should probably declare their own war with Ming. Limited uh, nomadic frontiers because Manchu was formed. Oirat is now Manchu. Manchu and ideas. They've got going for a lot of banners. So they should. Idea groups, they've gone for economic, offensive, and quality. Let's see now. We've got the Manchu Nepal Alliance with Oda. That is a strong military contingent there. Now, Oda. Offensive, quality, economic. Let's see, he did have. Espionage, so we swapped that out for quality. Nearly failed at his ideas. He needs to get his admin tech up, but so policies, nothing interesting really. He hasn't formed Japan yet. Can he form Japan? Let's integrate these two and then he can I believe. How big is his navy? He's 10 heavies. He's got any... any oh, he's... No, that's Langjiang. Yeah, well, we've got Match Bar here as well. Doing nice for himself. Uh, still, no alliances with anyone who really real players so we've got the Asian hug box here we've got the Persian hug box here we used to have the Balkan hug box we've got the German hug box and then we've got the British alliance really not really a hug box uh, Inca how far on did he get with his reforms he got two of them done so Slowly but surely uniting this region. <sighs> when will we have peace? Oh, Songhai. You're gonna keep on corrupting yourself, are you? You're just covered in rebels. Ow. So 
Do you have any armies left? No, you don't even have an army left. And I wonder what's going to happen between Great Britain and Netherlands. Because they can now stab hit. Can't they? 52% war score. No, no, no. Wrong, wrong way. Wrong way. We could force that. They could take London. And it would be a stab hit. They could force the taking of London. Uh, Prussia wants this. I'm not really going to get it can't really force much with the stab hits but you could take London you could get a foothold on British clay and the next war pile up your troops in there and then charge in I wonder if they're gonna do that I wonder if they're gonna stab hit London he's building more heavies holy shit what is your naval limit 92 and you're just going way over it paying 7.77 ducats because you're over your naval limit because we now have heavies but you can afford that mm, not by much though when do you see this like naval maintenance more your than your army what's his army limit 81 it's pretty good So Serbia has made peace. Now taking the main train centers, and they're going to be should be wanting to push this trade up into Venice. Now, where are your merchants? Got one collector in Venice, and then you've got Constantinople because you haven't moved your trade capital. You should probably move your trade capital to Venice. Have a merchant going from here into there, and then your other merchant going from Alexandria to Venice. So yeah, you definitely need to sort out your economy, Serbia. That is for sure. And I mean, you should definitely now go to war and take Verona. You know, take this Verona, Ferrara, and Mantua. Take them three provinces. cares about aggressive expansion you've got the claims you have got claims so yeah go do it before the end of the session you should definitely do that venice is only allied with papal state guaranteed by a straight yeah that's nothing heck you could even grab that you could even grab austria in the process uh, where's your forts you should definitely move a fort up on, put a fort on the highland. Definitely need to take this, get a fort on there. Probably put a fort on there, even though you've got. You know, just try and build up this buffer to the north. Malachi is still growing nicely despite losing the coastline. Kofu is still alive. We have 15 minutes to go and still no sign of a peace. These two wars. Luck is doing quite well for itself. 52 fourth limit. 
he's going to want to yeah he's going to want to be trying and paying off his debt which you can do very soon he can pay all of his debt off actually He's so so staying up with his tech, not with his ideas. He just needs to really do some good bit blow and try and be the bulwark against the Golden Horde. Now Byzantium, Byzantium, Byzantium. Still in debt. Plenty of manpower though. Admirable force limit, naval limit. Great discipline. Decent morale. I mean, you can still make something of yourself. You're just going to have to do that reconquest war against Persia. You're going to need to take this back at least. Try and make yourself whole again. I mean, you've kept this fort, but with the loss of this fort, yeah, they can still march in through and bypass this one. Going by the trade zones, going by. Okay, not even going by the states because of that. Mm. Nice borders, but not going by the states triggers me. <laughs> definitely have gone by your yeah, trade zones, really. Would have been nicer borders. <laughs> so, Byzantium is still growing. I mean, let's have a look at the development of countries. So Golden Horde nearly at the 1000. Nearly all 1000. That's Prussia. Songhai. Yeah, Songhai. Yeah, no, this isn't looking good for you, man. And then Great Britain. He's probably going to lose a bit in this war. Manchu, Cologne, Serbia, Byzantium, Majoran, Nepal, Netherlands, Tinrid, Savoy. And then down there, there's poor little Granada, which hopefully you're going to grow in strength after this. Oh, Yemen is a, def a defender. Adjuran has gone back for more. So, yeah, we've had the death of Yemen, death of the Mughals. Byzantium is clinging on. Looking like we're gonna get the death of Songhai. Death of Odiev. Yeah. Eleven minutes left. Is there anything else I should really check out before we uh we looked at He's got an actual income. Nagpur. Really? No, 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 no. There we go. Prussia. Yeah. So Nagpur has actually then got a quite a good balance. So I think I'm like, why was that only. I do. There, yeah, there we go. Okay. So yeah, Prussia, Ajaran has overtaken the Netherlands. Okay. So And then it's, you know, Prussia, Ajaran, Netherlands, Cologne, and then a big drop down to uh, Great Britain. You know, Forty ducats worth. Max manpower Prussia. Damn. Decay difference between first and second. Prussia, why are you? Have you been building barracks? No, 
Oh, really? Uh, regimental camp. No. Hmm. Dirty trade. Quite a lot of churches. A lot of production. Dirty manufactories. Right, let's have a look at uh see who's got the most morale in the game. Right now Prussia by far. And Cologne, Serbia. Serbia's getting his morale up. But I think that's from a vent yeah, Rolance Drill is from an event. Persia, Wallachia, Netherlands. Really, you want to be hitting at six morale to be good. Five is about average, and then anything below five is getting poor, really. At this stage of the game, so discipline. It's Granada in Great Britain with the discipline. Then Nepal, Byzantium, Oda, Prussia, all the way down here with discipline. So, not Space Marines just yet. Usability, hmm, not bad. Offensiveness, not that. Oof. You do not want to be sieging down. Cl now, if Cologne had mountain forts, that would be awesome. Pro who's the most professional? Netherlands. Nobody's really going for the professionalism much. Which all we had, like the Ottomans and Prussia, do that a lot last game, and that was really making wars for a long, long time. Uh, tradition. Nobody's at 100. No one's keeping it at 100%. Army size right now. Who has... No, who's relying the most on mercenaries? Hmm. Not that bad. We really forced on it. About one fifth. The biggest standard army is Netherlands. Damn. Biggest force on it is Prussia. Holy shit. 153. And he's not even using it. You can use it though. I mean. Pff, yeah, why aren't you. See, you should always build up. See, in my mind, you should always be at force on it. Because then. I mean, if you get attacked, you're at force on it. Uh, you know, show strength and everything. But if you're at. I mean, if he was to build up to force on it right now. Just call that 100. He goes down to 22,000 manpower. Now, if he was built up to force him it now, and I let his manpower tick up, you've got more manpower in the field, so if a big wall does kick off, you know, you've got your force in it, but then you've also got your manpower on top of that. So, but... Prussia is a beast right now. You can sustain a long war. He hasn't really got the troop quality... I mean, he has got the true quality, but not as much as he should have. He, you know, should be cranking up that discipline. Next idea group. What should you go for next for an idea group? Oh, you need to, yeah, get that infantry combat ability or trade to really increase your income. No, he's doing quite well, and he's going to be a late game threat for sure. Mid to late game. But they're going to have to really sort him out. But are they going to do that, or are they just going to ignore him? Some height. Still in the war. Come on, guys. You've got five minutes left. Finish these goddamn wars. Oh, have we... He finally see Europe. Oh, okay, he sees bits of Europe. <laughs> Ooh. Got the heavies. Go on, Netherlands. You know where you want to engage. I mean, really, if you beat down that fleet and then you start blockading, 
we can get to the 50% and start enforcing demands and just take London. Just stab hit for London. It'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to personally hate it, the Dutch in charge of London, but so funny. That's the boy. That just shows you his expansion. Yeah. Very, very nice, Savoy. Before Korea disappear. Okay, you're not subsidizing anymore. Ming, how close are you to the... Yeah, then Ming's just going to get eaten between these two. And then Langshang really needs to step up and grab land in that. I think they really need to go for it. Oh, Delhi is a vassal. Oof. Oh, okay, Vijayanagar went and did their own war against Mughals. And Timurids have done their war. Yeah, these two need to unite. Take out Nepal. In fact, yeah, these three. Because Manchu is going to come to the edge of Nepal. You're going to have Oda in that. So really, I could see next session. Well, I'd like to see. Otherwise, he's just going to stomp over everything. It's Golden Horde, Timurid. Nagpur Alliance take out Nepal Manchu and if Oda does join in then a Langjang Malakin Majpar Heat Alliance to then strike at that because if they've got the ships they can then la take out what little fleet they have land and then just force Oda out and then you know they could get a foothold here and really sort of contain Oda and I mean these can then easily just finish off Nepal and Manchu and really you want to beat down Nepal before they can become the Purusha of Asia the Purusha of India you've got three extremely good nations here that can become very good military powerhouses and you need to kill them in their infancy so I would like to see that next session and also, there needs to be a coalition against Prussia. Prussia's getting out of hand. Yeah, that's, that's what I'd like to see. But you make for some interesting wars as well, because we've had our big Middle Eastern war now. That's, that's over with. Don't see unless Balakir and Sibir can convince Prussia to come to the raid. Don't see Byzantium getting their territory back. I do like to see what's going to go on over here if these are going to come over. Going to get ready for the screenshot in two months. Yeah, we're gonna have to draw on the the border. <laughs> it is a shame about Venice and Pope. They could have made life hell for Serbia. And I am surprised Savoy hasn't gone in for his victory card. But then again, he's wanted to secure this land for himself. Which. He's definitely going for the French, isn't he? Or is he? Is he going to be switching to Catalan? Uh, 
hasn't been much culture conversion. <laughs> Irish. Actually, yeah, that culture, com culture map mode. Looking pretty normal, to be honest. But, right, ready for this. And here we go. Uh, F10. Hmm. Yeah, nice uh, growth by everyone, really. Apart from the ones that have lost land, obviously. <laughs> so, this is, uh, right. So, I'm gonna... Oh, sorry, I did not mean to, did not mean to clap. Yeah, I clapped. Yeah, I'm, I'm very tired right now. I think you can tell the past half an hour so we've been lagging a bit. Ugh. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I look forward to continuing. We have 227 years left. Yeah, 227 years left of this game. I reckon we're going to get some interest in late game player wars. This is, I mean, Savoy is looking like it's going to be a power in Western Europe, which I was very scared that's going to be a vacuum where, you know, but yeah, so thank you very much for watching. You know, if you uh, agreed with what I was saying about the Spanish and French ideas, last week, well, the last session about the Russian ideas, you know, let me know. If you disagree, also let me know. Tell me why I'm wrong. Do like to have a good debate when it comes to ideas and traditions in EU4. Um, so yeah, and uh, if you like this, give it a like. Um, and if you want to see more, you know, subscribe. This is, I'm going to try and get more of a uh, like schedule for when I'm going to upload them, not just here and there. It's a bit hectic for me at the minute, so whenever they get uploaded, is as soon as I can get them uploaded. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and continue to watch. And I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.